All right, what is going on guys? So tomorrow, I think we're gonna try and start this thing for the first time, but we'll see how far I get today. What I want the next video on this motor build to be is us rolling the car out, putting gas in it, putting oil in it, priming the system, putting the plugs and the coils in, and then priming it again, and then putting the fuel pump fuse in, and then it just straight up starts from there. So I don't wanna do like, an ass load of work before we get it started. I want it firing up to sort of be in the earlier part of the video so we can have like a full video on it running and all that stuff. So we got a lot of work to do today. Just a lot of minor stuff and then mainly just the intake manifold. There's lines and wires and vacuum routing and all that stuff. So some of the little stuff I need to get the ground wires for the ignition coils on, the little coil harness. I need to put the engine control unit back in and then we got to put the intake manifold back on. I got to put all my vacuum lines on. There's a bunch of sensors on the intake system that need to go back on as well, the O2s. I gotta plug that in, secondary air pump, all that stuff has gotta go back on. And basically, I wanna get this thing to where it's like a complete motor today. So we have the manifold back on and all that good stuff. If you've been following the build, then you know that we're gonna have to pull this long block out to recheck the torque on the main and rod caps. So for you guys just tuning in, you need to get the motor hot and pull it back out basically. So I'm kinda Gonna be cutting a little bit of corners here and there just to get the thing to run because we don't need it to be drivable, we just need it to run basically. Now I was waiting on a Mishimoto catch can to install and get that whole crankcase ventilation set up, but I got a notification saying it was 10 to 14 days away from shipping, let alone getting to my house. So I think we're just gonna vent to atmosphere for a little while. So here's the intake manifold. I have another crankcase vent valve somewhere over here. Ah, so here's what a PCV valve looks like when it's all torn apart if you guys have never seen that. But this is glued off. I'm also going to be running the M50 manifold just for the start because my M52 manifold is like all still in pieces. This is going to go on for when I initially start driving the car but I got a lot of stuff to do with that. So I think we're going to throw that on. We're going to cap this little guy on the dipstick tube and then this is going to come off and we're just going to vent the valve cover straight to atmosphere. And then I have a new ECU by Castle Performance, tuned by Castle Performance. It's actually the ECU out of that car, believe it or not. This car, I did do an auto tomato swap on it and so ever since I did the swap it has had a automatic transmission code. Castle Performance tuned all that stuff out so now it should pass smog legitimately, which is a good thing. I want this thing to pass smog legit, so the ECU box. Their packaging is on point, I will say. Ooh, hot mama. ECU is back on, this is all squared away, secondary air pumps in, all that good stuff. Is nas fuck. So now we're gonna put this PCV where that PCV is. I want you to do it for now. So we're gonna wipe it down real quick. Let's figure out our plan of attack here. <clears throat> so that's fuel rail. Throttle position sensor. Where's the idle air control? There's the idle air control. So we'll hang in by the starter. We got our plan of attack. Let's get some valves open here. Nice little tip for you guys. If you take some wheel bearing grease or just general multi-purpose grease, you take a little bit of it and you just sort of massage the new gasket, especially on the intake manifold gaskets because they kind of have a tendency to not really want to seal very well. It will help them seal a lot better. I'm probably going to be using this in a short throughout the whole video on just about almost every gasket on the intake manifold system aside from the vacuum line. So the throttle body gasket will get some of this. ASC, the throttle control or the traction control, throttle body housing will get some of this. I'll even probably put a little bit of this on the injector o-ring seals, just on the outside. But especially if you do it on the injector o-ring seals, make sure to get it on the seal and not in the cap, because that will sort of fuck up how it flows. So be careful not to get it up inside the fuel injector, just on the o-ring. Is nice. Let the war begin. Boom. Air control. Got everything hooked up that needs to be hooked up under the manifold. Get the 
fuel rail over, wire harness up. There we go. And uh, these manifolds get 132 inch pounds of torque, and I always start in the middle and sort of crisscross it out. That's the best way to do it. Get some of that on the injector O rings. I don't have the little brackets that hold this guy into the intake manifold because I gave them out to Evan for the uh, Throttle E36 build. But we're just going to be running it idle, so I think it'll survive without having the fuel rail completely bolted down. I think we'll live. That's on. Harness on, fed through, and in. Now this hot boy is for the oil separator on the crankcase vent CCV valve. We need to block that off. I was thinking we're going to need a bigger bolt than that. How about a connecting rod bolt? That is damn near perfect, Johnson. It was meant to be. It was meant to be. Go in your hole. Yes. This perfect. This coming together. It's a creation. Of the devil, people will cry. I put a little grease on the throttle body gasket. I cleaned up the throttle body inside and out. Oh fuck, that's on the wrong side of the brake booster. Vacuum line. Oh, there we go. Ooh. All right. I'm not gonna torque these. We'll just snug them. Uh, position. I will leave that up because we're going to vacuum test it. That is for the uh, air temp sensor, which is on this hot pocket right here. Temp sensor on. The idle air control boot. Oh god. Oh god. It's hideous. Jesus. On the fucking... How's our air filter looking? Do your job. Damn, can in, look at that shit. I got a free cannon filter. Mmm. That is tasty. That is tasty. So now that the intake manifold system is on, I'm going to smoke test the entire thing and make sure that we don't have any vacuum leaks because I don't want this thing to have its first start and already be fucked with vacuum leaks. So we're gonna check that real quick. I got a smoke tester we're gonna use. And then if it's all good, it's all good. If it's not all good, then I'm gonna go in and fix it. Let's 
get our air compressor in, rip headphone users. There we go, see that? I kind of popped the fuel rail to give you guys an idea of what it looks like when you do have a vacuum leak when you're smoke testing. So you see all that stuff pouring out. So we're going to get that all nice and back in. I can tell you right off the bat those fuel injectors are sealing pretty well, even with no mounting. Get the back ends there, you piece of shit. So I've got a little bit coming out of the MAF. I've got some coming out of the hole in the air box, so that's good. That's okay, that's not going to cause a lean condition because it's before the MAF. That's sealing well. The manifold itself is sealing pretty well. Got some coming out of the spark plug holes, which means it's gone through the manifold, down some of the open valves, into the crankcase and all that stuff. Um, I don't see it leaking out of the PCV. I don't see anything coming out of any of the vacuum lines. The throttle body is sealing. Again, all I'm seeing is that coming out of the spark plug hole. That'll be fine. I think we're golden. Fuck yeah, dude. We're ready for first start. Ooh. 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 I need to find another one of these. Donde esta? Aha! Alright, so now we're going to put the ignition grounds on and I took a little piece of sandpaper. You can see it's all nice and shiny now. Good ground. That is exactly what we want. Let's get you clipped in. Last few things that needs to get plugged in. Our O2 sensors need to get plugged in. Alright, well shit, that's it for tonight. First start's gonna be tomorrow. It's gonna be freaking mad, dude. This thing hasn't run in two years. Almost two years. Shit. We're ready to rock. So the only thing that needs to go on is we gotta get the cat pack exhaust system on in the morning. We gotta put gas in the tank. We gotta put oil in the engine, and then we're gonna spin the motor to build oil pressure and all that stuff. I'm gonna leave the plugs out so it's not building compression, simply because if it's building compression, that's putting stress on the new uh, rod bearing. So we're gonna wait until we have good oil pressure, spin the whole thing, just get good oil pressure all the way around, and then we're gonna put the plugs in, the ignition coils are gonna go in, and then we're gonna spin it again to make sure that we have good oil pressure, and then we're gonna plug the fuel pump fuse back in, we're going to take it out when we spin it, we're going to plug the fuel pump fuse back in, and then spin it again, and this thing should freaking roar to life. And that is going to be fucking mad. I cannot wait. And then we got to get up the temp, bleed the entire cooling system, and then pull the whole fucking bitch back out. It looks good though, man, seeing it like this. The motor back in, fuck. This thing is going to be a monster. Fuck. All right, I will see you guys the next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep it fresh, and I will see you guys later. We are, we are dreaming in the dark. We are nothing more than dust.